Hello my scholars, you are welcome to my school channel and my name is Frank. In this lesson video, we are going to be answering Jab CBT past question for biology year 2023. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. So in this lesson video, we are going to be answering question 21 to 40. So let's kick off with question 21. Behavioral adaptation for dealing with a hot climate could include A. Hibernating during the hottest part of the day B. Lax case on the back of a lizard C. Feeding during the hottest part of the day D. A small kidney to conserve water Okay, so the answer to this question is uh, option A hibernating during the hottest part of the day. Uh, the reason is because hibernating during the hottest part of the day helps organisms to conserve energy and reduce water loss during the hottest part of the day or during extended period of high temperature. Okay, so option A is the correct option. Question 22. The natural place of an organism or community is known as dash. Okay, so this is a very simple question which I believe everybody should be able to answer. Okay, so um, the answer to this question is option D, okay, habitant. Habitant is referred to as uh, the natural place of an organism or community, or you can say it is the natural environment where an organism lives, okay? So option A here is niche, okay? Niche simply means the role or position of an organism within its environment, okay? Why this is habit, an English word. Okay, C here is bio, and bio simply refers to a large geographical area with distinct climate, vegetation, and wildlife. Okay, so option D here is the correct answer because option D here is the natural place where an organism lives. So option D is the correct answer. Question 23. Which process in the nutrient cycle converts atmospheric nitrogen into a form that plants can utilize? A. Denitrification. B. Nitrogen fixation. C. Ammonification and D, nitrification. Okay, so the answer to this question is option B, nitrogen fixation. Because nitrogen uh, fixation is actually the process uh, whereby atmospheric nitrogen, okay, atmospheric nitrogen gas is converted into a form of nitrogen that plants can utilize, okay, for growth and development, such as ammonium ion or ammonia. Okay, and this process is carried out by nitrogen physic bacteria such as rhizobium or by lightning. Okay, so option B is the correct option, nitrogen physician. Question 24. Which of the following functions is performed by the skin to help maintain homostasis in the human body? A. Regulation of body temperature. B. Filtration of blood. C. Production of hormones. And D. Digestion of food. So the answer to this question is option A, regulation of body temperature, okay? So the skin helps in maintaining homostasis by regulating body temperature. So when the body temperature gets hot, the skin helps to cool it down through processes such as sweating and vasodilation, okay? So that makes option A the correct answer. Question 25. Which of the following soil types becomes less fertile due to the intense leaching caused by tropical rainfall? A. Yellow soil B. Lactrite soil C. Red soil D. Black soil Okay, so the answer to this question is option B. Lactrite soil Okay, lactrite soil is often found in tropical regions Okay, and tropical regions are known to experience heavy rainfall which leads to leaching Okay, and this intense leaching often makes soils found in this region less fatal okay so that makes option b the correct option question 26 which type of reproduction involves the fusion of garments from two parents a sexual reproduction b a sexual reproduction c binary fusion and d body so the answer to this question is a sexual reproduction because sexual reproduction involves the fusion of garment from two parents during this process uh, specialized cells called gametes are produced, okay, sperm and egg from male and female are produced through meiosis. 
So the fusion of this garment leads to the formation of a zygote, which develops into a new individual with a combination of genetic traits from both parents. So that makes option A the correct option. Question 27. Which processes are involved in nutrient cycling in a functioning ecosystem? A. Erosion, weathering, and sedimentation. B. Decomposition, evaporation, and precipitation. C. Nitrogen fixation, denitrification, and ammonification. Why D. We have respiration, photosynthesis, and transpiration. So the answer to this question is option C. Okay, because these are the steps that actually involve in nitrogen cycle. Okay, so we have nitrogen fixation which actually uh, makes um, atmospheric nitrogen available in, in forms that plants can use. Under the nitrification, uh, the nitrifying bacteria actually convert uh, the form of nitrogen available uh, to plant for use into form okay, unavailable for plant uh, to use. What the denitrification bacteria do is that they convert ammonium ion, which is the form of uh, nitrogen available for plant use, into atmospheric nitrogen gas, okay, which is a form of nitrogen not available for plant use. Then we also have ammonification. Okay, so here decomposers such as bacteria and fungi, what they do is that they break down organic nitrogen compounds, okay, that is found in dead organism and waste products into ammonium ion, okay, which is a form of nitrogen available for plant use. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option. Do you know you can take practice question with our simulated jam CBT pass question? All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website. There you have to download my school mobile app for your Android devices and my school software for your laptops and computer. Please go ahead and start practicing. Moving on to question 28. What is autotrophic nutrition? A. Nutrition in which organisms obtain food by breaking down complex organic compounds. B. Nutrition in which organisms obtain food from other organisms. C. Nutrition in which organisms obtain food by consuming both plants and animals. D. Nutrition in which organisms produce their own food using energy from the sun or inorganic substances. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D. Okay, so we know that autotrophic nutrition is, uh, is a type of nutrition in which organisms have the ability to make their own food from simple inorganic substances such as carbon dioxide, water, using sunlight. Okay, so option D is the correct option. I believe you are enjoying this video content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 29. The theory of evolution can be defined as dash A. The belief that all species were created in their current form. B. The hypothesis that organisms strive to improve themselves over generations. C. The idea that organisms change over time through natural processes. D. The concept that evolution occurs through a series of sudden and dramatic change. Okay, so the theory of evolution was proposed by Charles Darwin and Rosé Alfred Wallace in the 19th century. And the theory suggests that species changes over time through a process known as natural selection. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option. Question 30. Which of the following is a male reproductive organ in humans? A. Uterus. B. Ovary. C. Testes. And D. Fallopian tube. So the answer to this question is option C. Testes. Okay, because the testes is the male reproductive organ in humans. Okay, and it is responsible for producing sperm cells and secreting the male cell cell called testosterone. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option. Question 31. Which of the following is an example of a behavioral adaptation for survival in animals? A. We have sharp teeth. B. We have migration. C. We have wings. And D. We have camouflage. Okay, so the answer to this question is migration. Migration is an example of behavioral adaptation for survival in animals. So animals can migrate for many reasons, okay, such as uh, looking for better food source, uh, looking for more favorable climate, or looking for suitable breeding uh, places, okay? So that makes option B the correct uh, option, migration. 
Question 32. Which of the following traits is not visible in a person with Down syndrome? A. Short neck. B. High muscle tone. C. Small stature. D. Slant eyes. So the answer to this question is option B. High muscle tone. Okay, people with uh, Down syndrome are always known to have intellectual and physical disabilities. Okay, but high muscle tone is not visible in a person with Down syndrome. So that makes option B the correct option. Question 33. What is the definition of population ecology? A. The study of interactions between organisms and their physical environment. B. The study of evolutionary processes and their effects on population. C. The study of interactions between different populations in an ecosystem. D. The study of the distribution and abundance of individual within a species. So population ecology is a branch of ecology that deals with the study of the distribution and abundance of individual within a species. It involves examining how the population is, is distributed across different habitats and how their number changes with time. So that makes option D the correct option. Question 34. What is the term used to describe the maximum number of individuals of a species that an environment can support indefinitely? A. Ecological niche. B. Limiting factor. C. Carrying capacity. D. Density dependent factor. So the answer to this question is carrying capacity. So carrying capacity simply describes the maximum amount of individuals of a species that an environment can support indefinitely. Okay, it represents the balance between the valuable resources in an environment and the population's demand for these resources. Okay, so that makes option C the correct option, carrying capacity. Question 35. Which of the following statements about the heart is true? A. The heart is responsible for the production of red blood cells. B. The heart pumps oxygenated blood to the lungs. C. The heart receives blood from the kidney and fetal waste products. D. The heart is a muscular organ that contracts to circulate blood throughout the body. Okay, so we know that the heart is a vital organ in the human circulatory system and it is responsible for pumping and circulating blood throughout the entire body. So option D is the correct answer to this question. The heart is a muscular organ that contracts to circulate blood throughout the body. Question 36. What is the primary source of variation in a population? A. Gene flow. B. Mutation. C. Natural selection. And D. Genetic drift. So the answer to this question is option B. Mutation. Mutation simply refers to the spontaneous change in the DNA sequence of an organism genome. It introduces new genetic variation by altering the existing genetic information. So that makes option B the correct option. Do you have any question to ask? Please feel free to ask your question by clicking on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website. There you can ask all your questions and solution will be provided to you within a short period of time. Moving on to question 37. Which component of blood is responsible for carrying oxygen to the blood tissues? A. We have platelets. B. We have white blood cells. C. Red blood cells. And D. Plasma. So the answer to this question is option C. Red blood cell. So red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes. And they are responsible for carrying oxygen to the body tissue. They also contain a protein called hemoglobin. Which binds oxygen to the lung. Okay, and transport it to other parts of the body. So option C is the correct answer. Do you have better explanation? or steps to any of these questions if yes please go to the comment section below indicate the question number and the solution you wish to share question 38 what are the primary products of photosynthesis a carbon dioxide and water b glucose and oxygen c glucose and carbon dioxide d oxygen and water so the answer to this question is option b glucose and oxygen so during the process of photosynthesis plant uses sunlight carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose okay and alongside oxygen is also produced as a byproduct which is released into the atmosphere so that makes option b the correct option glucose and oxygen question 39 the alternate form of a gene is a alternate type b dominant character c recessive character d allele okay so the answer to this question is option d allele so in genetics, LA is referred to as one of two or more versions of a gene that is found in the same place as chromosome. It often comes in different versions 
with each version bringing about different phenotypic traits? So that makes option D the correct answer. Question 40. Which organs are part of the alimentary canal in the human digestive system? A. Salivary glands, tongue and pharynx. B. Large intestine, appendix and rectum. C. Stomach, liver and gallbladder. D. Esophagus, pancreas and small intestine. So the answer to this question is option D. Esophagus, pancreas and small intestine because they are all part of the human digestive system. Okay, that extends from the mouth to the anus. So the esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. While pancreas, which serve both endocrine and digestive function, plays an important role or vital role in producing and secreting digestive enzymes into the small intestine. Okay, why the small intestine, which is the longest part of the human uh, alimentary canal, is divided into three parts: duodenum, jejunium, and ileum. Okay, those are the three parts of the small intestine. So option D is the correct option. I believe you are enjoying this video content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next video.